Guess people. You feel secure in the UK? I would say I do. Um, but, uh, you know, with all the knife crime, again, I don't necessarily see much of it. But we don't have guns. And here, there is a big sense of you know, guns, I'm guessing, make people feel secure because of a couple of reasons that I'm going to get into. But the guns here are crazy. I'm talking shotguns at the mall. The local security guard at H&M does not have a shotgun. They don't have big ARs. I've seen some serious artillery here. I thought they were part of the military, but no, they are security. They're not even a um, police officers. They seem to have like um, hand pistols, even like uh, the, the security guards, banks, um, you know, in the mall where people congr uh, congregate or where bills have to be paid. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, I was going to say, even at, at tolls, you know, toll, you know, we have dart charge, we have congestion charge. And I think they're getting there with the camera technology, etc. You don't necessarily have to see a person, but just in case you don't have it or you haven't got enough money in your account, when you're, you're going through places that require a toll with your car. There usually is a person and you can pay in cash or they hold a certain amount of, of money. And I, it's just really uh, unique to me looking at you know, my lens whenever I've seen... I'm trying to think in the UK, when's the last time that I saw guns? I want to say like the Olympics or, um, you know, at certain events. And even that's a rarity, you know, they all have police officers riding equestrian. But, uh, you know, they've got their batons. But guns, that's that's definitely a, a rarity. Hair is just so common and I, I'm still trying to adjust and get used to it. You know, I think I have a healthy fear of guns and I suppose the people that wield them. Uh, but the reason definitely is because, you know, robberies happen everywhere, but armed robberies happen here a lot more. You know, you could just be going to one of the places that I mentioned, to the bank, through a toll, to a, a utility company, just to go and pay your bills. And, you know, shots can start ringing. Not that I've happen, uh, heard it happen to me, you know, it hasn't happened to me. And hopefully it never does. But it seems that it's quite the com commonality. Uh, or commonality and over here they call it a hold up essentially sounds very very texas very, very uh west indian kind of country i want to say hold up you know they just hold up basically the business the bank or operations you know with, with guns and you know they demand but because security is usually there they just start you know, from the rip they know what's going on they, they the shots just start ringing and and that's how it is. It's a scary thought. And I hope that it doesn't happen to me. Um, and I think what would circumvent that, especially here, is online payments. It seems that you can't pay online for a lot of things like utilities. It seems that they're rolling it out. So I was taking a look at the BDO app. So the BDO app, that's one of the banks here in, in the Philippines. And... It seems like they have an option to pay bills. But I was asking many, you know, a couple of people, family, family, friends about it. And it just doesn't seem that it's widely adopted. So not many people know too much about it. Um, what I also find kind of interesting and strange here is that the banking app, I'm not sure if the other banks do it this way, BDO, have a plethora of apps that are all official. So HSBC... I don't use them here, but I use them in the UK. And they just have one app. And you know, that's the legit application. Here, there's like six apps. And I was like, oh, is this a scam one? I think it's, you know, really easy for somebody to be ripped off. You definitely have to look good at the publisher of the app before you go ahead and download or install anything or start putting any credentials in. But they have many apps. And it seems like they probably could do well to consolidate it and allow you to find your better routes up you know, paying bills online or, you know, maybe the services, you know, service providers need to do a better job at that. Uh, I still don't know how I'm supposed to pay for the internet or we're going to pay for the internet, but I'm going to figure that out and relay that back to you. So that's going to be interesting if I have to do that in person. It seems that, you know, walking around with big wads of cash is is going to you know have to, to, to be the thing is going to be the wave. Which, you know, 
kind of a good segue into the to the next section section, which probably would if they widely adopted online payments, then cash wouldn't be as king as it is over here. Cash is very much king. You know, you can see people looking homeless and they'll pull out a hundred thousand, which is like similar to I don't I don't know, what is that? Seven seven hundred pounds? No. It's more it's like seven grand. No, it's not seven grand. Ah, oh, you can stick it in an exchange thing, I should know these things by now, while I'm still getting used to the the money. Uh, but yeah, they have thousand note bills over here, thousand one thousand pesos, and yeah, carrying around a hundred thousand isn't um, an odd thing over here because you know bills have to be paid or investments have to be made, and the, it just goes really really high. Uh, and a lot of places haven't adopted online payments. So cash is super, super king over here, even to the point where it just makes me anxious. I think, you know, I've had to carry large amounts of cash to pay off certain things at times or uh, deliver or move money from here to here. Even simple bank transfers will cost you, I don't know, maybe like 25p or something like that. And it's free over in the UK. So it just is very different, even the way that um, culturally uh, and technologi uh, technologically, uh, technological wise, technology wise, the way that we move money around and spend it. You know, I feel really anxious carrying around cash, but I guess it's something I'm just going to have to get used to, it, especially if you want things done. Because, you know, if a delivery is on hand, it's very common for people to do cash on delivery here. Like if you was getting an Amazon order, their version of Amazon that they use over here, um, cash on delivery is expected because if you pay beforehand, your order just might not arrive, which has happened to me. So I'm speaking from experience here. Further to that point, I had an experience where I was inside the fast food restaurant, Jollibee, and I went to make the payment. I was like, can I pay by card? Or you guys have got con contactless. They was like, oh yeah, yeah, you got contactless. Oh, so where's the card? Where's the card? I was like, no, is, it, is the payment ready to be made? It's like, yeah, the payment's ready to be made. And I just put my phone towards it. I was like, oh no, they was like, no, that doesn't really work. Or they're not quite sure what I was doing. And obviously the payment went through and they were just astonished. They was like, wow, oh, you can just pay with your phone. I've never seen that method of payment before. I, I, I guess they've never heard of Google Wallet, Google Pay or Apple Pay, or they've just never used that method to pay. It's just not widely adopted. Whereas in the UK, I can just leave my house without a single penny, a uh, single you know, note or coin, and I can just go ahead and spend my money that's in my bank account. So it's you know super duper interesting. You know, tell me about a time where um, you know you spent too much money because you don't have cash. Uh, that's super interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, um, you know, share it with your friends, share it with your family for information and to stay connected. Love.